Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, July 27th. The time right now is 4.38 p.m. And the temperature is somewhere around 23 degrees Celsius. And I'm here in downtown Toronto, just in front of Union Station. And this here is Front Street West. And a look back to the east. And today the city announced that after 11 long years, the revitalization project here at Union Station has finally completed. It's only about six years late and around $200 million over budget. And since I moved back to Canada, I think around 2013, I haven't really been through Union Station all that much. It's always been kind of a tangled mess of construction. I have walked through it on a few videos before, but this will be my first time going through it once it's completely open. And there's the Royal York. Although apparently there's still some minor cosmetic renovations to be completed. Apparently it's close enough to say that it's open. So for this one, I'm gonna head inside and just wander around a bit. About seven months ago, I did a video through the new GO bus terminal here at Union Station. And they have since added coach buses to that terminal. So I'll head in here into the Great Hall. But first, I just want to put my umbrella away. Okay, now that's over with. Let's head on inside. So this area here is the Great Hall. And this project was supposed to be completed in time for the Pan Am Games back in 2015. And Union Station is the busiest transportation hub in all of Canada. I think they're projecting around 500,000 people per day will pass through here post-pandemic. And on this level here, you'll find the VIA train terminal. You could catch a VIA or Amtrak train or Ontario Northland. And I'll head down to the GO train boarding area right after we walk through here quickly. And you can also catch the Union Pearson Express train, which is a train that heads to Pearson Airport. Although that part of the station remains relatively unchanged. These people are waiting to go to Montreal, Windsor, Sarnia, or Ottawa. And there's signage for GO trains. And you can keep going south through here and you'll find yourself out by Bremner Boulevard, or actually Raptors Way. And it certainly doesn't look like the renovations are complete. There's a 
moving conveyor belt. I'm assuming that's to handle baggage. I've never actually taken the via train from here before. And I seem to have come down a level. And this project included tripling the space for Go Transit customers. They also added a couple of bike parking stations off of York Street, which is over to the east or west from here. So this will take you up to the Skywalk, and that'll lead you past the Union Pearson Express train station or platform, the Rogers Center, CN Tower, and Ripley's Aquarium. And this way we'll take you over to York Street. So this area has been open for quite a while, but there is a new food court over in this direction. And they have not reopened yet. I remember going there after a video and having a sausage and a beer. Union Chicken is open. So the food court is just down below here. So if you've been to Union recently, this area is really nothing new. I'll just head down and take a quick peek since I'm here. One of the common complaints about Union Station is that it's rather difficult to navigate. The signage isn't very good. And the wayfinding isn't particularly good either. I guess that's kind of the same thing. We have signs that lead us to the GO platforms, the VIA trains, the bus terminal, and Scotiabank Arena. And York Street is off in that direction. All right, let's... backtrack here. And I think the part everyone wants to see is the part that's directly south of the Union Station subway area. Well, it's really a separate TTC subway station that is underneath Front Street. So that's back towards where I just came from. Okay, so this will take us back up to the Great Hall. So this is how you would get to the subway. A 
the section that's been closed off for the longest time is just up ahead here. That's what I'm most curious to see. I used to come to this station quite often. I went to York University and sometimes I drove and sometimes I took the GO train to Union and then I took the subway all the way up to Downsview and then I took an express bus from there to school. So it looks far from complete. But there is Bay Street, which is on the east side of the property. And just through those doors would connect to the subway. I remember there used to be a McDonald's around here and a Cinnabon, all kinds of food vendors. There's supposed to be around 160,000 square feet of added commercial space. So that's probably what will be going in here. will lead you over to Bay Street. So there's the Via trains to the right, Union Pearson straight ahead. The GO trains seem to be everywhere and the washrooms are off to the left. I don't see any signs for the bus terminal. So this area is all opened up. I've not been here. So that'll take you over towards Bay Street and Platforms 10 to 13. There's a sign for the bus terminal. But where would you go? It doesn't have an arrow next to it. I know the bus terminal is off to the left. Okay. This sign says bus terminal left. Scotiabank Arena to the right. I think they should have called this more of a soft opening. And that would be Bay Street. terminal to the left, Scotiabank Arena, I'm assuming would be to the left. There's the entrance to the arena. Okay, so here's an idea. Let's find a board 
that has trains that are departing listed on it. And I'll see if I can navigate my way to a gate, having never been through here before. So it's 4.54 and there's a train to Stouffville, leaving in five minutes on platform 24. Well, there's eight to nine, 12 to 13. Is there anything to tell me where platform 24 is? There's four and five. I could have made this easier and picked a closer one. I don't see any maps or anything. So this will take you to three, although that platform is closed off. There's a sign, platforms, 24 to 27. Platforms, 24 to 27. Go this way, maybe I can catch my train after all. So we're heading back towards the York Concourse. So I guess it's split in two. There's the Bayside, which is to the east, and a York side. 24 to 27. Ooh, I cannot go up to 24. Is that where my train is leaving from? Let's go up and see if there's people on that platform even. There's my train to Stouffville. Can I just run across the tracks here? <laughs> There's the financial district. I'm gonna look to the east. Got two minutes. That says 24 up there, but that says 24 go right, 24 go left. What? I have no idea where that's telling me to go. There's 21. There's another sign, this is 24. This is a fair paid zone. That's okay, I'm just taking a peek. I've got my Presto card on me. There's my train, I would have made it. I guess you're not supposed to be in this spot. If you don't tap onto your fare. Okay, let's go down before I get busted for sticking into where I'm not supposed to be. It's not like I'll be 
posting evidence of this online. Here's a map. That's not going to confuse the hell out of people. Okay, so now let's head back to the subway. And we'll follow the signs. I'm assuming everything is in that direction. It says go straight to find the subway. Let's go straight. It is busy down here. They seem to have a ton of people helping people get around. It reminds me of one of the train stations in Tokyo, where the locals who navigate it quite often I'm gonna know it quite well, but people just coming for a day trip or a vacation are gonna be rather confused. Those go trains will whisk you out to the suburbs. Okay, so it said to come here. So I obviously know where to go from here. But unless I missed it, I didn't see any connecting signs that would tell someone. Where the subway is, when you put up signs with directions, you need to make sure that all the links are in place. Otherwise, you can end up with people just wandering around. So there's where I came in. Okay, so it said subway down here. I don't see any immediate signs in front of me. Oh, there's one. All right, so I'm just gonna head into the subway station and jump on the northbound train. Well, it's great that it's open. It's certainly far from complete. I think they said over the next few months, the finishing touches will be put on. The station has been the butt of many jokes here in the city just due to the very long construction period. I think the Eglinton LRT still carries that mantle though. Or maybe not, because this isn't actually done. The mayor said it was done. And here's an indoor connection to Union, so I guess they can Say this is all path connected since you don't actually go outside. Well, that was eight hundred and twenty four million dollars well spent. And I think they still need to 
do a lot of work on the platforms in the coming years. They're not quite big enough to accommodate all the people. And here comes my train. And on that note, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I am using new audio recording software, so hopefully this has worked out. Anywho, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.